All right, can you see me now? I don't know what happened. This is a mess. Anyway, here's the tin because it, it, the recording stuff. I had to restart the recording. I don't know, guys. Sorry. Another commercial. Darn it. I did. I pushed record. I did. It says it's red. It says it is. I just won't touch the screen anymore. Just not going to touch it. All right, so here's the tin that we're going to do. And I already went through all this, but because I had to restart it, maybe I have to go through it again. So here's the back. All the papers and the embellishments are Prima, the Rosarian line. And um, heat embossed edges. So I'll show you that with the adhesive that we're going to use. Yep, I did start record. Um, oh, surprise! Didn't want to see the surprise yet. But here's the inside. I know I was all kind of freaked out that it stopped. I covered it with paper. And then the back is uh, just paper. All right, and we're going to go step by step here, and I'll show you. I kind of ruined the surprise. You're going to see the little surprise at the end, but this is the little gifty that's inside. So we will do that too. That'll be a little bonus today for you guys. Okay, so there's that, and this is what it started as, and we're going to alter this. This is a little cigar case. It's really thin, so they must have been really thin flavored cigars. This one was caramel mochachito. Mochachado. Mochachado. Okay, so no touching. I'm not touching the screen. I'm letting Cheryl moderate. I'm not even going to do anything except show you what we're doing here because I don't want to mess it up anymore. <laughs> I'm not starting over again. All right, this is Rosarian. This is a little paper pack, the 6x6 six six paper pack. So I use some of this, and you can see... Oh, they're so very pretty. The colors are brighter than what you see in my badly lit art room. I need to get some new lighting in here. But they're very pretty. So we're going to do that. We're going to use that. I'm going to set that aside for a second. I cut up some. So um, here's the full sheets of this paper. This is the Rosarian. It's actually um, hot pink. It's like a magenta. You got it's magentas, lime green, and like a light, like a teal color, um, reds, blacks, pinks, light pinks, um, and cream color. So it is really kind of nice as an alternative um, colors for Christmas. But you could totally make this like a Mother's Day gift or a um, birthday gift or anything like that. Here's tags. We're going to use some of these too. Um, let me see. The back is pretty. That's black. Yeah, that's so pretty. I have another one somewhere. Oh, here it is. Oh, I just showed you that one. This is the tag I used. We're going to use this one for the one I'm doing now, but you can always customize it for what you want. Okay. All right. So I cut, I pre cut a few. Um, papers to use with this. So this is, um, let me see, this will be the the front. I'm going to use this on the front of the box, I think. Or we could do it inside. Oh, this is the inside one in here. And i got to cut it a little smaller. So the inside of these little tins is 5 by uh, four and a quarter. So five by four and a quarter is what my sizing is. Now it's going to depend on your, um, you know, your, uh, tin. And actually I forgot something. Let me grab mine. I used, because this has rounded edges, I used a little, my little corner punch. It's perfect for that edging. And I just quarter punched them so they fit perfectly in there. Yeah, see? Perfect. Okay, so that's going to be the inside. And I'll have to cut another one for the outside. 
I did some pre-cutting, but I didn't pre-cut everything yet. So this one eh, doesn't really fit on there. Let me get a different one. Maybe I could do that one. Let me see. I think I'm going to pick a different paper. For the front, I know these tins are cute. You know, I have a bunch of the Altoid tins, too, um, that I got at school. Somebody dropped them off to me. That one's not going to fit either. Well, I guess I did a poor job pre-cutting these. I'll do black on the back. For this one. Okay. So, let me just quick cut these down. You want to measure twice, cut once, right? That's what you're supposed to do when you're a carpenter. So they're five by four and a quarter. Okay. And I always, you know, just bring this little, oh, you know, I gotta cut one more too. Let me do that first. And I'll be set. Five. Five wide by four and a quarter deep. There we go. All set. So I'm gonna move that out of the way. Okay, then I'm gonna corner punch it. Now you could, um, you could sand, you know, just lightly sand this, but I didn't. So I'll just tell you that I skipped that step. But if you're really picky about things, making sure they stick, you know, and stay stuck. But I found that the Helmar stuff really sticks and stays stuck. So, okay. So what I used first is the decoupage and craft paste. Okay, so this is the Helmar decoupage and craft paste. Come on camera. Zoom. He's not zooming. Okay. Yeah, I love that cutter. I have one of the old Fisker ones too and let me tell you, I didn't want to give it up but it was getting kind of old and cruddy so I bought that one and I really love it. Alright, so I have a little foam brush and I'm just dipping. This stuff's kind of thick and I love it. And I just brush it right on there. So you could sand it, you know, with sandpaper ahead of time. I did not. I find it sticks just fine. So I just kind of make sure it gets spread around. I don't want it too thick so that it saturates the paper too much, but you want a good layer. Okay, so I'm just going in different directions and brushing it on there, making sure it cover all the parts that the paper is going to be on. Just going to close that up for now. All right, and then I put my paper on there, kind of center it, and I use a. This is a door key from the Hyatt, because I was just there for a conference in Rochester, New York. So. Of course, I couldn't find my key fob when I turned it in, and the, or my key, and then of course I find it when I get home shoved in my bag. So, and I just use this to get any bubbles out, smooth it in different directions. You can kind of rub it on the edge to kind of get rid of any overhang. So it makes a nice smooth contact. Okay, so I'm going to do the same for the back. And let's see, I'm going to do this one on the back, the black. with the, It's like black with these pink polka dots on it. All right. And then, oh, I closed it up. And this, I like, these tins are really pretty colors, but I don't want the brown. So I'm just covering it with paper, and then I'm going to do the heat embossed edges just to give it a little more 
rich, fancy look. Okay, so just kind of cover it all, make sure it's even. I can feel that it's sticky, so that's good. I'm going to put my paper on there. Oh, did you lock yourself out? <laughs> oh, yeah, I heard that too. Maybe that's why mine wasn't working at the end, because I had it in with my phone. Now, if you didn't cut it the exact way, like I cut it a little, I cut it the same as the top, but apparently the bottom is a little smaller than the top and I didn't think about that. You could take a sand, you know, a sander, um, like I'm going to use my Prima one and, you know, just get rid of that overhang. Okay, open this up to here. And then you could just stress the edges because it doesn't matter. You're going to put the heat embossing powder on there, cover it up. I'm really lazy. Oops, sorry. This thing does a fabulous job. You're getting a two-in-one. You're getting the Hellmar and the Prima stuff in one day. And I'll be on Thursday on Ustream on the Prima channel doing a journal cover with Hellmar. I might add Helmar uh, glues. There. Good enough. Oops. Oh, I'm making a big mess there. Okay, now it's kind of messy, but we're going to fix it up after. Yay! No, go in the other room. What did I say? I want you. I know you want me. Hello! No, I can't see you, okay? So you got to go in the other room. Go in the other room. <laughs> My little visitor is here. No. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to cover the inside. Oop, i got to put a little more glue on here to hold this down. Sometimes you got to hit your corners a little bit here. We can't try. talk to you. No. Side. Let's see. I can put. Bye, Bye. Here. No, go in the other room. Right now. <laughs> oh. I'm not going to get rid of him. And we'll do this one. Uh, the bottom. No, thank you. No. 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 One no. Go get your punches. Oh, yeah. Where are they? Down there. Yeah, in your, oh, art, oh. in your art table. No, I know. Okay, then you have to be quiet. Okay, mommy's working. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Let me tell ya. Ah. <laughs> All right. So we're going to do the inside and then I'm um, going to do the heat embossing before I embellish everything. Okay. No. I want to do no. that one second. Nope. Wee. No. Wee. Wee. Listen, you need to go in the other room and watch your, Hello. TV. Watch your TV program. 
Go watch your TV show. No. Yes, please. No. Do you have, then you might have to go to bed. No. Then, then you got to go in the other room. I want you. I know. I'm right here. Yeah. He's so sweet. You are sweet. But you got to go in the other room. Remember what Mommy said? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh. Alright, so we're going to put some more of the decoupage glue in here. In the inside. I just load it up and spread it around. And I'm just using a foam brush. And honestly, I buy them, you know, by the bags at like the craft stores and I throw them out after. <laughs> I don't even want to wash them. Which is for some people like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you throw them out. I have a friend that never throws. Green! Oh, I hear Ruby and Max. I go watch it yeah. again. We'll see what, after, after that sound over. Yeah. All right. Smooth it all down. Oh, this one has a little crinkle in it here. Smooth that. That sticks. And let's just get the air bubbles out. That's little and... green. You can't. No. You can't be talking on the screen. Thank you. Hi. No. Why? And let's see, one more, one more paper. So you need four pieces to cover each side of the each top and bottom, and then the inside top and bottom. I can't talk to you. Nope, not right now. And then smooth this one down, and then we're done with the inside for now. We'll be adding all the embellishments and extra things in a little bit when this stuff dries and we get our heat embossing stuff done. Oh, thanks, Cheryl. Yeah, it's the decoupage glue. I love this stuff. Alright, so that's pretty good. This one's just got a little air bubble there. You can take that. Here. Fresh! Alright, so here's the front already. And I did a little different on the back here. Yeah. No. Oh, 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 thank you. Yeah, that's me. No, you may not. Why? Because I'll make a plastic. No, you go use your art stuff. I need a plate. I need a plate. Okay. Not right I now. Do I, I don't have another one right now. You can have this one when I'm done. Okay. Okay. My helper. He's my little artist. Alright, I gotta grab one more brush. Here it is. There's plates in here. Alright, here. Oh. So smart. He went and got his own plate from the cabinet. I didn't even think about that, bud. Alright, so now we're gonna emboss. So see the edges? They're brown. And I want um, to cover them, and that will hold the papers on a little better, too. Just in case, you know. Yeah, they, they love this decoupage. Yeah, I just wiped off mine because it was dripping. Oh, trying to open the wrong end. Okay. Now, what I do is I keep it, I open it up, and I'm going to paint, or I'm going to coat the edge, the edges with the, um, believe it or not, I'm going to use the Crackle Medium Step 1. 
because this stuff stays sticky when it dries and I need that for the embossing powders to work so um, and it and it has a, a nice texture to it so this one is really thick and nice and it dries pretty quick and it stays sticky so this one also gets Oh, I don't need a guy to help me open jars. You know what you need? You need the rubber grip things. Those are the best. That opens every stick, stuck jar ever. It stays really sticky. I just found that out. So um, it's obviously perfect for crackle, the crackle medium because you do. It's a two-step process. But I just happened to be playing with the first step and realized that it stays sticky, and then thought, hmm, this might work for this project. So I just take from the lid, because there's already some on here. I don't need a whole lot. I know I'm so smart. Mm -hmm. It is a must as a two-step. Yes, it is. So this, I'm just painting on the edge of the tin. And a little goes a long way, because it is really sticky when it dries. And you also want to overlap it onto your paper a little bit. So I'm just going to do the front, like this one right now. Oops. Dropping stuff. Okay, so just kind of overlap the edge of your paper a little bit too on the front. And you could do your embossing powder any color you want. I'm going to do gold because I want it to look really rich looking and, you know, fancy. Like I bought it in the store and that it was really expensive. Not 50 cent tin. No. People want, they don't need to know that. They're going to think it's amazing because of this. Amazing that you can make something for very little and it still looks pretty. I think people like handmade things better too. I know my father in law does. He always asks for something handmade every Christmas. My mom, of course, is an artist, so she appreciates handmade stuff, too. All right, so I'm just painting the edges. And again, they don't have to be real thick because it'll dry faster if you keep it somewhat thin. It'll still be sticky. Like, you can feel some of the... I can feel the edges, and they're pretty sticky already. Oh, I'm off screen. Sorry. I get carried away. I'm not paying attention to the screen. Okay, so I'm just adding a little more. I need to get a little more from the bottle. Mommy, Shh. I just don't want to play you up this one. No, I can't have that when it's wet. Hey. Sorry. I mean, I want the other one. All right. See how I'm cleaning it around the edges? I'll be done in I just need a this second. One? No, thank you. I need this one. Okay. <laughs> I'll make a project with me. Alright, you make a project. He's going to make a project. So cute. Alright. I'm done with that now. So it's all covered. I'm going to just give it a second let it dry a little bit. And I'm using a non-stick mat on my, on my table surface so that um, you know, I don't have to worry about cleaning up later. It'll be all wipe. I can wipe it right away. All right, here's the embossing powder that I'm using. This is the Wow Embossing Powder Metallic Gold Rich Pale Regular. And you can find this anywhere that Wow Embossing Powders are sold. So, okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to pour some on my plate. Last time I did this, I poured it on my plate. I did this, and when I heated it up, I aimed the gun right near this, and it went 
flew everywhere. <laughs> it's like, ah, uh, so annoying. Not very smart. Okay, so I'm just going to dip. I don't think this is completely dry, but it's sticky, so it's perfect. It'll work. And I'm going to just do one side at a time because it does stay sticky, so you don't have to rush. I love that. Okay. So I'll turn this around so you can kind of see it. And I just kind of wipe this edge off because I don't want to get the embossing powder over the edge. It'll be hard to close the tin. So you just want to wipe off with your finger. It works just fine. So there it is before I heat emboss it. And I missed that corner. So get some more of that. Okay. All right, I'm going to try not to aim. Actually, I'll move this out of the way so it doesn't get. Okay. And then I'm just going to heat emboss this. Watch your fingers so you don't burn yourself. I can get close enough without much of see. But this stuff works great. Now sometimes I heat it up and then I dip it in again and let it um, double up. But you gotta do it while it's wet. Or you could, you know, just do one. And I just do one side at a time. Then I don't have to worry about rubbing it off or, you know, accidentally doing anything. And the, t the crackle one step, it does leave a little bit of a, uh, almost looks like a crackle texture on here. I love it. So cool with the heat embossing. It might just be because I put like a light layer on. It's really neat. So you could put double layer if you want. Yeah, really cool, right? And you can do all sorts of stuff with the glue and then emboss. All right, so I'm ready to do my next side and I'll do this quick. I'm not going to do double layers because that'll take too long. Once you get going in a groove, you could do, you could knock these out pretty quick. It's a, it's a matter of how much you want to emboss or um, embellish too. You know, if you just want to keep them basic, it takes, <coughs> excuse me, hardly any time at all. So I'm going to do a bunch of these for teacher gifts. See, I'm kind of trudging it through on the, vi on the pile here. Don't forget to clean off the edge with your finger before you heat emboss. And this will hide that painted edge, you know, especially if it's a tin that you get a color you didn't want on there. Let me finish my heat emboss this side. Oh, move the embossing powder so it doesn't blow into your computer. And it gives great coverage, good coverage here. This takes this step takes a little while because you have to wait for the thing to 
you know, melt the heat embossing powders. It takes a little while. Plus, you're covering a large area here. Then, oh, change sides. First time I did this, I burned my finger. Careful. <laughs> But the glue doesn't even, like, dry when you heat it up. I mean, it doesn't, like, it stays sticky, I guess is what I'm saying. That's kind of very nice. That's another thing I like about these glues is they stay true to what their intention is. And they don't, you know, go anywhere. They stay right where you put it. I'm almost done with this side. Looking pretty. Do the back. Sometimes you got to get it back into a pile. Keyboards do not like, no, they do not. <laughs> Mine's always on my desk, so I'm sure it has quite a bit in there. Okay, I missed a spot. Just add a little more. Miss some on the edges there. I hold it pretty close, but you know you don't want to hold it too close and for too long because it will bubble if you know if the glue is still kind of wet. So, but it shouldn't if um, if you let the glue dry. I'm just rushing mine, so it's bubbling just a little bit, but not bad. Most other glues would bubble a lot. This stuff is awesome. Just about done. Oh, on my side. There we go. All done. Oh, no, forgot about. Sorry. Thought I was done. My finger. Oh. All right, now. Yeah. All right. Um, it's it's not from American Crafts. It's actually a company called Wow Embossing Powder. They were out of um, the UK, but now they have an American 
a U.S. line. Um, Susie, Susie West is has a line from that. If any of you know Susie, she's awesome. Um, but they are the best. I love them. I love those embossing powders. So it's wow embossing powders. Yep. And I know um, American Crafts has a wow glitter, and they unfortunately came out with it at the same time um, wow embossing powders came to the U.S. So it was kind of unfortunate that the name that um, American Crafts decided to name it that, and then we were introduced to the other one. So it's kind of confusing. All right, so I think I'll emboss the top, or not emboss, embellish the top. And um, the first layer is already done, and we did the embossing powder around the edges. And you can you can really see it's shiny, it's so pretty. It has a little bit of a texture to it, and I even did some edging over top. Now your papers are really on there nice. All right, and then. We're going to add the doily first. So I have a doily here. This is actually like a little cupcake doily I bought at, um, I don't know, some cake making aisle, probably Wilton or something. And so that'll go on here first. And then um, I cut out the little tag. So I'm going to cut out this shape, just the shape. I don't need the green part. So with my scissors, you can cut, and you could do this on your die cutter. It would be so much easier if you cut your own shape with a, you know, a die cut machine. But I tend to always, I have like three die cut machines and I always tend to go to the scissors. So silly. If you use your die cutter, then you can use any papers you want, any part of the paper. But fortunately, I can just quickly do this. Oh, sorry, keep going off screen. There we go. Okay, so I'm looking at it upside down here. Here we go. Now I popped this up on here, on this one. I popped it up with the Helmar um, zap, dot, zap Dots, but they're the square ones. You can use any of them. So these are the, the Zap Dots right here. Yep. These are the black ones. And so I just popped those up. You can see them. They're like, it's a little dimensional. Before I did that, I stamped the words on there. So I'm going to do that right now. Uh, I think this, this way. Maybe I want this way. Okay. Now, um, to stamp the words, I used the Prima Press. If you've never used the Prima Press, they're so fun. They're like little Legos, these letter stamps. And they just snap right on. So I'm going to do for you, and I'm going to stack them, so I'm just going to do one at a time. And then, um, since I do design for Faber-Castell, I'm using, and plus it's my favorite ink, is the Pit Artist, the Big Brush Markers, Stamper's Big Brush Pens, and I'm just using black to go over my letters. And the nice thing about the Prima Press is it reads right side up. You know, you can see your letters facing you and you know exactly where they're going. Oh, that didn't work so well. Let me do that again. See, I'm talking too much and I'm not centering things better. There. See, look at it. I could redo that and I didn't I could figure out where I'm placing it. No problem. So now I'm gonna do the U part. Uh oh, 
I think my little guy's doing something he shouldn't be doing. He's playing with water. For you. Perfect. Okay. And they come in different fonts. These have different fonts. Yeah, the Primo Press. So you buy the fonts. So this one is like a text, uh, like a typewriter text. And then they have cursive and all different ones. Um, what are you playing with? Um, I'm doing a um, mighty paint. Okay. You have water? I, I film a lot. All right, good job. Okay, so I'm going to put the... Um, the zap dots on here and I just use one I just use four of them oops there we go and I love they're double sided and then you can peel I can peel off these tabs so that they're sticky when I'm ready to put it on there okay so here it's gonna get layered and I kinda test it out before I glue things down and then all these flowers I have, Prima flowers. These are some of the Prima um, Rosarian line flowers. So I will decide which ones I want to use for this box. I think I want some leaves. And the black. I'll use the black with the pink, like the pink dots on the back. And one more. Oh, <laughs> no phone, I'm not answering the phone. Let's see here. How about this one with the flowers? That'll be pretty. Oh, go away. No, I'm not answering it. And then we'll get some flowers. Flower. Let's see. Oh, it's our contractor. Sorry. Um, let's see. I did a big pink one. We'll do some of the colors. Maybe I'll do on this one. I'll do a big white one. I had a white. I had this one with the had a little teal on it but I don't have another one of those so I'll use the white with the sparkles I can't remember the name of that one so look that up and the red one the rosarian yeah these were the um, CHA this summer there let's see uh, maybe I need a smaller one black. So a little black in it. Oh, we need some green in here. There we go. I need a You got a wall brush. Yeah. You can borrow a wall brush. You got a wall brush. I do, I do. Thanks for the All right, so I think that'll be good. All right, so I just kind of laid them out, and then I'm going to glue them down afterwards. I'm just kind of figuring out where everything's going to go. And then, of course, we had the bling that we'll add on there, a the little separate bling, and then these swirls. Um, and I, the, I, these actually, they're sticky, but these, they're sticky, but they never stay. So I always use the, the Helmar gemstone glue for those just to make sure that they don't come off. Because nobody wants to lose their gem, really. And then this little piece is this little dangly trinket. Um, is another piece. Oh, and I have the bow. Yep, we'll do the bow too. Okay, so we have swirls, bling, blingy bling. Here's the trinket. These are what they look like first. Now, these things keep coming out. They're supposed to be glued in there, but it keeps coming out. So guess what I do? 
is I put a little 450 in there and that sucker's stuck in there. So I'm going to do that, get that fixed up. And same thing with these little gems. We'll put one on top. Maybe we'll do a pink one for this one. So I'll do that. Okay, and our, this is my favorite, this Hug Snug seam binding. If you've never seen it, oh, awesome. Amazon sells it. You know, every color you can possibly imagine. Or you can go right to the Hug Snug. Um, actually, this one's from Zipper Stop in New York City in the garment district. Oh, find out what that is. Let's see. They're, they're called Vintage Trinkets. And this was from the CHA line at Prima. Vintage trinkets. <laughs> All right, I tie my bow. And you can, I, may, I always make it bigger than I need it to be. Wow, that's awesome, Mommy. Well, thank you, buddy. I can do that sometime. You have to do that sometime? Maybe you can do that sometime. I got one, two, three, four. All right. Got four um, cups. All right, just tying my bow here. Trying to get it to look pretty. I guess it's going to be the best that it can be tonight. So that'll go in the corner. See, I always make it too too long, so I just have to trim them. Then I use the little scraps. I'm a, I'm a... Umi Zoomies on. Umi Zoomies on. Yeah. Oh, love team Umi Zoomie. All right, let's glue some of these down. All right, here's the 450. This is my favorite. Oh, my favorite glue. This is like crack. This glue, I'm addicted to this glue. If I run out, I'd be very upset. Love it. But I use it a lot, so this thing goes with me everywhere. Okay, so I just centering. No, I'm off centering. Sorry, see, it's not centered because I wanted to put the tag over here. So I'm just going to stick that down right now, peel off the, back, the back of these. So I'm using lots of glues tonight. We have the decoupage and craft paste. We have the crackle medium step one. We have the 450 quick dry adhesive and the gemstone glue, which I'll be using in just a minute. Where are you? Okay, perfect. Oh, I put some on here. Let's see. I think I'm gonna use, maybe I'll use the white swirls this time. These are the Tea Time Say It in Crystals. They're like a pearlized color. Take them off so you can see them. Oh, come on. There we go. So they're like pearlized, but they're sparkly. They're very mini, little mini Say It in Crystals. Tea Time, yep, that's the name of the line that these come from. I've heard just a little rumor, or not rumor, but a little, uh, I haven't gotten my, the new lines yet from Prima, but I heard that this, that the winter release is going to be awesome. Of course, it's always awesome from them. They have some beautiful papers and things. Okay, so I'm put some swirls. I just kind of tuck them in wherever I think they'll look good. All right, and then I'll put some of these blings on after. I'm going to do my flowers and stuff first. So we'll do the 450. On the, works great on fabric or roses or anything. Oops. My fingers are very sticky from the step one. <laughs> Usually I wipe them off in between, but I'm rushing. Here we go. 
and arrange these anywhere. Kind of like to layer them a little bit and tuck things under. <clears throat> and even though the, the glue does dry quick, it does give you some work time, which is nice because sometimes I decide to move things around. Tuck things in a different way. Like I forgot my leaf here. Gotta tuck that under here. Oh, cool. Okay, thank you. All right, tucking them in. Let's see. Let me put this one over here. Some leaves. You're not late. Come on in. Hear my little the patter of little feet. Tuck those under. You kind of see what I'm doing here? Just layering my flowers. Got some uh, blue boogers, blue boogies. See. Still workable here. That's good. Because I'm going to tuck that rose in there and then put this one kind of right here. He is being really good. I know. And with no other supervision but me here. So I was kind of worried. And it's way, it's past his bedtime. So he's being very good. Uh, let's see, I can stick that one in there. So these are starting to stick right here really good. And one more. I can cram quite a lot in here. Alright, this little thing that has a little wooden chip in there, but it doesn't stick in the metal very well. So I'm just going to take some 450 and stick it back in there so it doesn't come out again. Voila. Now I'm going to use a little gemstone glue. This one's been up right for a while. There we go. For this little bobble, I'm just giving it a little pretty stone on top. There. So I gotta let that dry a little bit before I put it on there. Okay. Alright. What do we have next? These are sticking. Bling. We have bling next. Some more bling. So I've got pink and black. These are the Say It and Crystals. So I'm just gonna use one of, oops, one of these and some gemstone glue on the back. Let's see, I'll put one tucked in here. Maybe a blue teal color. I just squeeze a tiny bit and then I can dab it on there for you. And it dries clear, so even if you see a little bit, it'll dry clear. Oop! Oh, flinging pearls. Flying pearls! There we go. And I'm just adding more glue because these don't stick very well, in my opinion. The glue kind of wears off or something. So I'm putting some of our delicious glue in here. Oh, I can't get it to squeeze it. Oh, of course. Yeah. 
had it upright for too long, I think. It all settled back down. There we go. Pink. Where did I put the pink? How about right here? And I think it needs one more. Let's see. What color? How about the more how about more blue? Or more aqua color? Pearl. We put it over here. Perfect. Alrighty. So there's the front. We just gotta tie on the bobble, the little trinket. There's our our new one here. I'm good with this. Yeah, that's the only thing I think with these fingernails, I can't grab them without doing that. Yeah, no, it's just because it was upright, um, standing upright. I didn't, you know, it didn't. It settled back down to the bottom, and it wasn't easy to squeeze upright. Okay, so I'm going to tie this on and then we'll work on the, I'm going to work on the surprise real quick because we're kind of running out of time. I know it's getting late for some people. So I want to show you how to make the little necklace. Okay, there's my little, oops. Put that through. Just tie that on there. Cute. There we go. So there's the it. All right, now let me get this one back out so you can see. I made a little necklace and it's with some of the papers from um, the Prima line, just the same line. And um, a chain and then there's a little rub on here it says enjoy life I don't know if you can see it let me hold it up so you can see there. you can see it now all right and oh on the back of this I embossed with the embossing powder so it looks really professional in my opinion I would wear it definitely and then this little tag is from the papers to hold it on. Okay, so here's what you need for this. I use the um, Tim Holtz Ideology, um, what are these called? Faucets. Facets? Facets. And I just pick one. Um, I think I'll do a squarish color. Oh, no, maybe a circle. Eh, we'll do a big circle. Oh, I gotta take the liner out. They make it near impossible for you to get to these, though. <laughs> I can never get it open. It's like child-proof, but it's also art teacher-proof, too. And mom-proof. Okay, so you need a little jump ring. I don't know. Which one should I do? How about... All right, we'll do the big circle. Okay, and I use these. These are also the ideology, but I, it's the um, ball chain, and you can cut them the length you want for necklaces. These are really, you get a lot, like you can make two, four, six necklaces from this, or more, or little key rings. These would be cute key rings, too, or something, or little, um, you know, something or others. Something fun for somebody. Here's... What I used, I used this paper, and then I kind of just take the the piece and I move it around until I find what I want. Like I want something that has some of the black, maybe some of the rose, but I like that hand drawn part too. So maybe I'll do this part right here, right there, with the rose and the hand drawn part. Okay, so then I just take a pencil. And I hold it still, or as still as I can, and I draw around, trace around the faucet. Facet. Facet? Faucet? It's not faucet, it's facet. Potato, potato. Okay, so I trace around it, and then I'm going to cut out just inside my traced line. You can always trim it if it's a little too big, but I go right inside that line. 
that pencil line. Then you won't even see the pencil. If you do see any pencil, you can always erase it before you glue it down. Okay, it doesn't have to be super exact because you can trim it. Yep, like this one's going to hang over just a tiny bit and I'll just trim it after I glue it down. Okay, so then I'm going to stick this on with the gemstone glue. It dries clear. It will look hazy, you know, when you first put it on. Um, and I just put it on there and take, you know, some, take a, and don't over spread it because you'll, whatever inks are on the paper is going to take it off, you know, take off the inks. And then you can center your, facet. And then I just take, where's my card? and smooth out any air bubbles. Okay. Let's see another one. Nice and even. And then if you see any hanging off the edge, you can trim it once you glue it down. You should always glue it first and then trim because it's kind of a pain to try to line it up again. Okay, while I'm waiting for that to dry a little bit, I gotta grab a, let me grab a uh, rub on. I forgot to take one out. These are the rub ons. These are the old, oof, yeah, these are really old, basic gray, but you could use any rub ons. And I'll do, since it's big, I wonder if that'll fit. How about, we'll do forever. Forever. Make sure you look where the top is because the top has the little hole in it. I'm going to try to lower this and see if we can get closer here. Yeah, a little bit closer. Sorry, can't get much closer. But you'll see. I'll hold it up. You'll see there's a little where the jump ring's going to go in is right there. So that's the top. And then I just layer this on. Actually, I probably should have picked like a white rub on to show up better. Before I put the rub on on, you should kind of wipe off any glue that's stuck on there so that it's clean and this glue is so easy to clean up it's awesome I always have an easy time cleaning it right off my mat and everything super easy just a baby wipe my fingers are so sticky All right, and then here is my rub-on. Just make sure you hold it steady. Hey, forever. I just beautiful. And little bling, more bling. Let's see. I'm gonna do a pink bling for this one. No, maybe I'm not. I always lie. I, I always think I'm gonna do something and then I don't do it that one. Do and I'm gonna do this this lime green color. We'll 
gemstone glue. Again, it'll dry clear. You can do more than one little gem on there if you want. All right, and then I'm going to put that together later, but I'll show you what I did is um, put the jump ring in. I don't know if you can see it. The jump ring. Ugh. Focus, focus, please. There we go. And there's um, the chain goes through that. And then I made a little tag by cutting out one of these little pieces. Okay, so I just cut out one of these. And I punched a hole. So I'd punch a hole at the top. And then I cut little slits on either side of the hole to put my chain through to hold it on. And then I just used a little tape to tape it on the back to hold it so it doesn't all flop around. All right, and that goes inside the little box. And then you could add a little, you know, sentiment or something inside. I just put enjoy. I just punched um, a piece. Again, I used the zap dots to make it stick up a little bit. And the gems and letters. You could put, you know, like a, um, a tag in here and then write a little something for your friend or whoever you're giving this to. Yeah, isn't that pretty? I don't know if I want to give that away. It's so pretty. I might have to make another one. Oh, I was, I was going to show you the um, embossing. I just used the step one again, the um, this one, Crackle Medium step one. And I brushed some on the back of the dry. You know, you want to wait till this is dry. But pr brush it on the back of this. And then I just, um, you know, lay it on the plate and sprinkle the embossing powder on there and heat emboss that. And you want to get it, you want to get it kind of, oh, get this thing's a pain. You want to get it kind of over the edge a little bit just to seal um, the edges so that it, you know, no moisture can get in between the layers. So this, you can see it's kind of on the edges too, overlapping the paper and the fat, facet, faucet, whatever. Can never say it right. And that's it for this fun Christmas pro gift project. And here's the one we made together for you. For you. Aren't they cute? So I have two done already for teachers. I just have to make my note cards. Ow. All right. And now, if, if you, anybody has questions, or needs to know um, anything else before we stop recording. Oops, dropping things. I'll answer anything I can. And then. Mommy, uh, you try it and put it on there with you doing. Oh, yeah? Oh, you want to make a box? You're cute. I never make a box with you doing. Oh, well, we'll make one together. Yay! Okay. Maybe not tonight though, okay? What? Not tonight though. I want to. I know. Come here. Come here. You want to say hi? Hi. There he is. Hi. Say hi. Hi. You gotta look in the camera right here. Look in the camera. Hi. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> and there's the our box. Let's open it. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. All right. Nobody's got any uh, questions, so I'm gonna stop the recording now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Cheryl. Oh, no, no scissors. Thank you. There, there. It's small for me. Yeah. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.